From CBS News, this is Newsbreak. In the Senate, the filibuster has ended, but the angry words haven't. After the administration helped bust the filibuster, Senator Aberesk accused President Carter of lying. The issue, natural gas decontrol, still hasn't been resolved. Over 1,500 chemicals manufactured in the U.S. are suspected of causing cancer. For the first time, the Labor Department proposes a systematic approach to regulating them. Corruption is the charge, and Dira Gandhi is the accused. The former Indian Prime Minister is under arrest. To ease the growing strain between Washington and Israel, the White House again today argued U.S. Middle East policy has not changed. The Census Bureau says that while inflation went up last year, the medium family income went up even more. The first time in three years that's happened. This remarkable scientific medicine helps relieve most cold symptoms caused by every known virus. Every known virus. It's contact. I'm Morton Dean, CBS News, New York. More news later on this CBS station. Monday night, Doug gets fired and Betty sends Tracy on a mercy date. Why don't you do it? Tracy, the man feels bad enough. <laughs> Later, Victoria's father pops in. Good morning. Good morning. And Maud pops out. 